All right, just a quick demonstration here how to wire up a 30 amp power inlet for a Generac generator. It works for pretty much any generator. This is a Generac, it's version 6337, and it does not come with this little flapper right here, which I would highly recommend doing. Otherwise, it's just a free open outlet. Um, so you're, you have to have all the wiring off in order to put the flapper on. And then you gotta run your wire out. It does call for 10-3, I put 8-3 just because I have a little bit longer run. Uh, the bigger gauge wire allow for a little bit better uh, power flow, a little less resistance. So you've got your your red, your black, your white, your neutral. So you got your three conductors, your ground, and the box already comes with two grounding wires in it. If you look at the back of your inlet. The top, there's a W, I put a little white dot there, that's neutral. And then the there's an X and a Y, and that can go for either the red or the black. It doesn't matter which one goes in what. And then your bottom one is your green ground. So we get this wired up here. Okay, here we go, so we got our three conductors in there. We got our red and our black in the X and the Y position. And we got the white neutral into the W slot. And then you can see the green line dropping where that green bolt is. Right, right there. And then right there in the very back of the box, you can see that wing nut. And that's got my ground going back into my transfer switch that's bundled up there with the 8-3 wire. So there you have it. We get this completely closed in. Put that flapper back in, put the cover on, and we are good to go with a 30 amp inlet. All right, here we are all wired up. It's a bit of a pain, but we got the flapper underneath here. Keep all the bugs and dirt and everything else out of there. Don't ask me why they don't just give it to you when you buy it, but obviously they want to make some more money. We're going to throw our, our plate back on here, and we're all set.